How to create graphics using Canva for your LinkedIn post. Hey everyone, and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how we can easily use Canva to achieve the best sort of results when it comes to graphics uh, for our LinkedIn um, post, basically. Now, Canva is going to help you quite a lot, and I will show you exactly why. Because we can use a template, and then from that template, we can just go ahead and uh, pretty much just, you know, make it ours. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First, you will need to just create an account with Canva for free. And then we can just go to canva.com, create a design here. And then we can just go for more at the bottom left. And then basically we want to search for LinkedIn. Uh, and I believe there is LinkedIn post, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, LinkedIn post. So just go in and look, look up LinkedIn post. And you will find 1200 by 1200 pixels. Go ahead and choose this one. And once you click on that, it's already just going to generate plenty of um, templates to choose from. So just go ahead and search for a specific template that you want to use and just go ahead and click on it. I'm just going to find one that suits, um, you know, my style best. Okay, so I've just found this one. This is going to be, you know, suitable for those who are actually hiring. Uh, and you can see there's plenty of elements here that we can pretty much adjust. First, we have images. Uh, it could be multiple images, not only, you know, one. And we can also have the text here, change all of these things here. And if we wanted to add more stuff, we can feel free to do so. And I will show you all of this right now. So first, let's just start with the image, with the obvious. So to replace images in Canva, it is like extremely simple. First, you will need to upload your own images. To do so, you will need to go to the left panel where you will find uploads. So just go ahead and hover over that. And then we can just go ahead and click on upload files and feel free to upload any file file that you actually want to use. Now, I don't have an appropriate image. I'm just going to use, you know, this one as an example. So let's say this is the image that you want to replace it with. Just go ahead and drag and drop it right on top of that image. And it's just going to take the form. So as you can see, now we have the new image, which is just color purple uh, and then we can just go ahead and start adjusting text and stuff here so first let's just go ahead and adjust uh the colors let's so we can see now blue is pretty much the um colors here you know the color palette uh, let's just say we wanted to change that so first we can just go ahead and um change the background color so let's just go ahead and click on the background itself and click on background color and let's just go ahead and make it a little bit darker and now we can already see there there was a hidden image there which i couldn't see before so let's just go ahead and actually choose a specific lighter color like so and then we can just go ahead and start with the text now to change text you basically want to double click on it and you'll be able to add the text that you want to change the form, uh, I mean the font, you want to select the text and just go ahead and, you know, go to the fonts here and select whichever one that you want. I'm just going to keep it the same. Same goes here if you want to just go ahead and change this. Feel free to change it, but I'm not going to change it. The only thing I'm going to change is the color of it. I'm just going to make it purple. Like so. And also I'm going to change the color of that section over there. Let me just go ahead and try to grab it. Okay, so actually that's not a you know, separate block. That's an actually an effect uh, for the text. So you can just go to effects after you click on it and you will find it over here. And we can just go ahead and change the color. Great, now to again change the text, you can just double click on anything and you can just change it. But if what if you actually want to add something? You can basically just click on something and duplicate it. If you want to add more text, for example. And you can just go ahead and add more text like so. And we can just move the rest of these elements a little bit further down just to give it a little bit of space. And if you want to add even more stuff, you can feel free to go to elements and you have plenty to add here. So just go ahead and search for whatever you want. And we can just go ahead and add that element over here. And basically you want to go to share after you're done on the top right and download it and you'll be able to use it. So hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching.